Well, we now talk about a path-breaking piece of Russian technology deployed in an Arctic town in Russia's Far East. Now, our Rion's correspondent, uh, Siddharth MP, brings you this report, which is exclusive on board the world's first floating nuclear power plant. Take a look. With its red and blue lines, this giant barge, placed in a remote Arctic town in Russia's Far East, might seem like any other ship. However, that's totally not the case. This floating vessel is a pioneering piece of technology which Russia believes can guarantee energy security in the remotest parts of the world. Be it along coastal areas, island territories and even the harshest of climates. For several decades now, we've seen aircraft carriers and submarines that are powered and propelled by nuclear energy from their onboard nuclear reactors. But what we're standing on right now is the world's first floating nuclear power plant, which is in Russia. So what you're seeing behind us is the town of Pevek. The entire town of Pevek is not just powered, but also provided heat that is generated from this floating nuclear power plant, the only one in the world. The world's only floating nuclear power plant Academic Lomonosov has been operational for four years now. It has proven its unique capability by delivering reliable and low-cost power supply in the harshest of Arctic conditions in the Russian Far East town of Pevek. The floating power plant barely needs any land, takes lesser time to build, costs much lesser than a land-based nuclear power plant and can be towed to operate along any coastline in the world. We're coming to you from inside the generator compartment of the floating nuclear power plant. So this is a fission style nuclear reactor where the atom is split. So once the atom is split, a lot of heat is generated. That heat is used to actually turn water into steam. And that high pressure steam is what runs the generator over there. There are turbines within that generator. When the steam turns those turbines, electricity is generated and that electricity is supplied to the adjoining town. For 80 years, Pevek has relied on a coal-fired power plant. But burning coal poses its own challenges. There are pollution concerns in the pristine Arctic. Carbon emissions from the coal power plant leave black traces on the ice. Black deposits on the ice absorb more heat and accelerate the melting of the ice. In comparison, there are no emissions from the floating nuclear power plant. In a few years, this town will witness the shutdown of the coal power plant and completely switch to nuclear power. However, there are widespread concerns over operating a nuclear power plant in the pristine Arctic region. The fear of a possible accident is something that can't be taken lightly. The Russian nuclear agency, however, maintains that their floating nuclear reactor is well capable of safely surviving any natural calamity. And, if needed, the floating nuclear power plant can also be towed away to safety. When it comes to nuclear power plants, there's always a safety question that's asked. This is, of course, the world's first floating nuclear power plant. But Russia's nuclear power agency, Rosatom, says that the safety features here are unmatched. Be it natural calamities such as tsunamis, tornadoes or earthquakes or even other natural calamities, this one, they say, is built to withstand. In addition to that, they say that one of the highest safety features built in and designed in this reactor is the fact that even if a medium-sized Kamov helicopter, a Russian helicopter, actually crashes onto this reactor from a height of 50 meters this barge and this entire reactor would remain safe and the people and the environment here would not be contaminated in any way and the reactor can continue to operate with videos on ajit from pevek into the russian far east siddharth mp we on world is one